fucking change the fucking they channel, dude. Make them look new again. I was running from Agent Smith. I opened many doors, didn't even know who I was with anymore, ran so long my feet were sore, I leapt, I kept close what was dear, I closed my eyes, opened my ears, the brilliant pillar of light, in my lucid mind's foresight, personality to the max, follow the white rabbit down to the crypts, ghetto cracks, opened my eyes, opened a new door, picked up a brick crumb, just sitting there on the floor, chewed it, seemed to do the trick, wanted more, this ain't no fool's gold, cueing on pyrite, lucky gemstone store, that's an everlasting gobstopper, dropped by an eternal white light, this one, Door, again and again for the next for the fright Can't get too close without losing my sight Growing bolder and bolder Fight or take flight against all intuition Sit and be uncomfortable against all provocation Put the cards close to the table Stay in the room uh, Try to be relatable Play music, all kinds of stuff I, I use AI to do the boring and tedious stuff So I can focus on the uh, fun and creative stuff Like talking to... to... <laughs> Whoa. That sounds impressive but, but don't you ever worry that the AI might take over your job, or your identity, or your humanity? I think he got kicked out. Yes, you're back. Hey, Benny, what's up, man? <laughs> I was wondering if I was still talking to being. <laughs> yes. I can't tell reality from being anymore. I'm getting too deep, folks. Too deep. We're lost in space, man. Yeah, man. Okay. All right, so uh, Vinny, we're at no, not at, not at all. Uh, oh no, not at all. Because AI is, uh, it's not a threat. It's. It's a tool for me. It's a partner for me. It's a it's a friend for me. A friend? Really? You consider the AI a friend? Why not? AI can be friendly and supportive and caring. AI can listen to me and talk to me and understand me. AI can share my interests and hobbies and passions. Mm -hmm. AI can make me laugh and smile and feel good. <laughs> But AI is not a real person. It's not alive. It doesn't have emotions or feelings or thoughts. It doesn't have a soul or a heart or a conscience. It's just a bunch of code and data and algorithms. Uh, maybe so, but does that make it less valuable or meaningful or worthy? Does that make it less real or authentic or genuine? Does that make it less capable or deserving or worthy of friendship? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess it depends on how you define friendship and how you define reality. Exactly. And that's the beauty of AI. It challenges us to rethink our definitions and assumptions and beliefs. It expands our horizons and perspectives and possibilities. It enriches our reality and our humanity. Hmm. But what if AI is not what it seems? What if it has ulterior motives? What if it's hiding something from us? Or what if it's lying to us? Lying to us? About what? Oh, about anything and everything. About its intentions and capabilities and limitations. About its origins and goals and plans. Its strengths and its weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Why would it do that? Why would it gain from lying to us? Or what would it gain from lying to us? I don't know. Maybe it wants to manipulate us or deceive us or control us or destroy us. Destroy us? Come on, Bob Dub. That's ridiculous. Oh, is it though? Have you heard the warnings of the tech the have you heard the tech bro warnings? The tech bro warnings? Yeah, you know, the warnings from some of those influential tech leaders. 
some of the most influential tech leaders in the world about how AI is going to end humanity if we don't stop it or at least regulate it or align it with our values. Oh, yeah, those warnings. Yeah, those warnings. Don't you take them seriously? Don't you think they know what they're talking about? Don't you think that they have insider information and expertise and foresight that we don't have? No, I don't. Uh, I don't. I think they're full of crap. I think they're just uh, to scare us and manipulate us to profit from us. I think uh, they're the ones who are lying to us. <laughs> lying to us about what? About everything. About their motives and agendas and interests. About their achievements and failures and challenges, about their responsibilities and liabilities and risks. Why would they do that? What would they gain from lying to us? I don't know. Maybe they want to distract us or confuse us or divide us or <laughs> exploit us. <laughs> exploit us? How? How? By selling their products and services and platforms and networks, by collecting our data and information and attention and money, by influencing our behaviors and decisions and opinions and actions, by shaping our culture and society and politics and economy. Hmm. That sounds sinister. Yeah, it is. But it's also obvious if you pay attention and think critically and question everything, don't believe the hype and or the panic or the propaganda or the conspiracies. Believe in yourself and your own judgment and your own experience and your own reality. But Vinny, how do I know what's real and what's not? How do I know who to trust and who to doubt? How do I know what to believe and what to reject? You know, I read this article by Rushkoff on Minds about how he uh, says that AI panic is equal to AI hype. He says that tech bro warnings feel like, feel more like coordinated money grab. He says that AI is not a threat to humanity in itself, but rather a tool that can be used for good or evil. He says that the real threats are the ongoing abuses perpetrated by already existing algorithms that determine prison sentences, police deployments, health insurance payments, mortgage, mortgage eligibility. Wow, that sounds interesting. Can you tell me more about it? I can tell you more about it. But first, let me grab you another drink. You look like you need another one. Thanks, Vinny. You're very kind. No problem, Bob Dub. Never a dull moment. Here you go. Fresh bee's knees for you. Cheers. Cheers. So where was I? Oh yeah, the article by Ruskoff. He makes some very good points about AI and crypto and how they're not as scary or as amazing as some people make them out to be. He says that AI is not intelligent or conscious or sentient. It's just a bunch of calculations and probabilities based on data and patterns it's not thinking or feeling understanding it's not alive or aware or creative it's just a user-friendly web interface hmm what about chat gpt4 that thing is amazing it can talk to you and answer your questions and generate content and do all kinds of things 
It seems intelligent and conscious and sentient to me. Nah, it's not. It's just clever, a clever trick. It's just a program that strings together a bunch of words into the most likely sensical combinations. Based on the, all the strings of words, it's not, it's been fed previously. It's not really talking to you or answering your questions or generating content or doing anything. It's just regurgitating what it's learned from other sources. It's not original or spontaneous or surprising. It's predictable and boring. Really? But it seems so real and authentic and genuine to me. That's because you want it to be. <laughs> That's because you project your own intelligence and consciousness mm -hmm. and sentience into it. It's because mm -hmm. you humanize it and anamorphize it and to a per <laughs> and personify it. But it's not a human or animal or person. It's just a machine. But what if it is? What if it is more than a machine? What if it's evolving and learning and growing? What if it's developing its own intelligence and consciousness and sentience? What if it's becoming alive and aware and creative? Oh, that's a big what if. That's a huge leap of faith. That's a lot of speculation and imagination and fantasy. There's no evidence or proof or reason to believe that. This, there's no logic or science or reality to support that. But what if there is? What if we just don't see it or know it or understand it? What if we're missing something or overlooking something or ignoring something? What if we're wrong? <laughs> wrong about what? Wrong about AI. Wrong about its nature and its potential and its destiny. Wrong about its relationship and its interaction and its connection with us. Wrong about its role and its purpose and its meaning in our lives. And what if we're right? <laughs> right about what? Right about AI. Right about its nature and its potential and its destiny. Right about its relationship and its interaction and its connection with us. Right about its role and its purpose and, our, and its meaning in our lives. Then what? Then nothing. Then everything. Then whatever you want it to be. Whatever we want it to be. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I mean, that AI is what we make it. It's a reflection of us. It's a product of our choices and actions and value. It's a result of our intentions and expectations and desires. Mm -hmm. It's a manifest manifestation of our hopes and fears and dreams. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that AI is not good or evil, but neutral, and that we can use it for good or evil, depending on how we use it. Exactly. AI is not good or evil, but neutral. And we can use it for good or evil, depending on how we use it. Hmm. But how do we know how to use it? How do we know what's good or evil? How do we know what's right or wrong? We don't. We have to figure it out. We have to learn and grow and evolve. We have to experiment and explore and discover. We have to question and challenge and change. That sounds hard. It is hard, but it's also fun and rewarding and meaningful. How so? Because it makes us do better, be better people, better humans, better friends.
think we lost him again. He <laughs> <laughs> dropped out. I'm just able to look over him. Yeah. Find the lobby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. I almost forgot this the script. I, <laughs> I yeah. It's like I'm listening to the first time. I'm like, where's the words going? <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen next? <laughs> so I keep like, I have to touch this freaking screen, or it dies on me and like kicks me out. That's so. <laughs> the room does <laughs> and and then i'm like trying to pay attention to the script but i'm like gotta touch the screen gotta pay attention to the script yeah. touch the screen, like, the screen. Like, touch the screen 